What's up my tubular time tourists? We're back in the year 2001. Today with my favorite thing, torture. Vegas 4, baby. Because it was the only old editing program that I could find besides Windows Movie Maker. And I've already made something with Windows Movie Maker and XP. Those days are behind me now. Now it's Vegas. Big difference. So I'm thinking, we record a video game video using my XP gaming computer. Playing Mario's Fundamentals, this is my official copy, got it straight from the factory. Miyamoto himself handed it to me on a gold platter in 2001. Toss that bad boy into Vegas, chop it up, I'll show you the process, my vision behind every edit. It'll honestly be a good insight into the, the life of a movie producer such as myself. Which starts off as everything does in XP. Will anything work? Look at the gradient. You can definitely tell this is in the 90s. Just, you can smell it. 256 of a color video driver. Oh. You're, you're dumb. Say it back again, one? Say it. Say it, you plumber poop. I'm a liker. Back again, one? All right, hit me with a good old game of go fish. All right, just absolutely demolished this guy. So we're gonna throw it into Vegas. I'm gonna show you some of the footage, some crazy moments that happened. This was an insane game, guys. I'm telling you, it's gonna hit, it's gonna hit the algorithm. It's gonna go viral. I gotta take the footage. I gotta convert it into something that this time period can handle. Probably like a dot caveman. So we're gonna do a convert-a-thon while I'm gone. That did kind of rhyme. Pika Sponge will give you a short update on his life and how it's changed uh, since you've last seen him. He lost a lot of weight. Go take it away. <laughs> All right, we got the face cam. Face cam's working. Seems like it runs pretty good, actually. Let me see. Would you look at that? Auto ripple, sure. Classic tool, right there. Checkers? That's when I say checkers. Now, where's the gameplay? I forgot that's a little bit critical. Now, some of you guys out there, if you ever watch a YouTube video, you'll notice normally there's not a big black bar around the edges. Sometimes I'll do that for creative purposes, but it's not normally a, a thing that you do. So if you hit this button here, you can do one of these. Uh, tap this bad boy up a little bit. This will be the, the under gameplay. Now, from a creative standpoint, the audio not being available kind of hurts the creative vision of the video that I'm going for. So I'm actually going to take, I'm going to convert some audio for it. I have one card. Mm. Indeed. Turn that up just a little bit. All right. Group these guys up. So we got the gameplay, we got the footage. Now you might be asking, how do we know where the footage should start and where the, uh, the video should start? So for that, I'm going to show you guys a little trick. You'll notice right here. Up, down, up, down, up, down. I said up, down, up, down, up, down. Now, what did I mean by that? Well, that is actually my secret. When I was saying up, down, up, down, I was also moving my mouse up and down on the screen at that same moment. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into the footage and see at what point do I move my mouse up, down, up, down, up, down, right there. See that? Something right about there. So if we crop this down to this, up, down, up, down, up. You can see it matches up ever so perfectly. So now these two video files are matched up to the timeline that they were in real life. Now the whole video is in order. Psych, wrong. Where's the face cam? Do you guys see the face cam? Well, there's this little thing called, no, you don't. You're gonna take the face cam layer and put it above the gameplay layer. Then you can see it's overlapping. So for me personally, I like to make it so I'm always facing the action, facing what's happening. So I would wanna put myself like, maybe like over here. So it's not blocking the cards, you know? This is kind of a little genius thing you might have to do. What kind of stuff we got here? There should be a crop, right? Cookie cutter, that was one I used to use. We'll go with cookie cutter. So add that. Now we're gonna wanna make the border a color that kind of fits this. Uh, I'm gonna say, if we just straight up steal the red, it'll just kind of match the overall location. Drag it like this. There's our face cam, folks. See what we're doing here? You understand? Genius. Control S that because I'm proud. Genius, right? No. Gameplay, boring looking. Look at this old looking Mario looking stuff. Saturation adjust. Hit it with one of these, right? Knock that bad boy up a little bit. Now I'm gonna do the most fun process in all of video editing. Chopping down and getting rid of all the clips I want, I don't want and keeping all the clips that I do want. That's gonna be really fun. Here's what my vision is. I'm thinking we keep most of the pivotal moments. We don't need to make a 12 minute Mario's Fundamental videos. Nobody wants to watch through that and my editing style is more like Here's just the best things that have ever happened in the world. I'll re-engage the time machine that I used to transport us back to 2001 and you'll be whisked away to a magical world where the most boring part of the entire video process is already done. 
This time lapse is brought to you by this fun fact. Uh, I used to use Sony Vegas exclusively. It was my video editing program of choice for a very long time, up until maybe two years ago or so. Um, yeah, isn't that kind of cool, guys? Oh, fun fact about the content creator that I'm watching that affects me in no way whatsoever, but it's only meaningful to him. Quite a good moment right there. All right, we got all the clips down to about a three minute video, very digestible. Now I want to start out with, there's kind of this unspoken rule if you were making a video back in these days, you had to have a cool intro. It was just kind of required. So we got to find some kind of music. There's got to be something on this computer I can use, right? Sample music, sure. What do we got? Beethoven. I'm kind of feeling that one, but it's a blank screen. What? What is that about? We're gonna have some intro graphics. So breakout, breakout paint. We're gonna do just a drawing of Mario from Mario's Fundamentals. Now, some of you guys might notice with how good this is gonna end up looking. Yeah, I was. I did draw a little bit when I was like 16. Kind of an experience not many people have had. Because um, that's not a common thing that uh, many people do. Wow, why? There's no fractioning. Boink, boink. Just a little, little bit of flair. So we're gonna save this one. And now this is going to be the little thing, the little picture of myself that'll like bounce around. But you know, very chiseled, chiseled face, chiseled chin, something a little bit like that. I mean, realistically, my skin and hair color are pretty much the same because I'm blonde. So just doing that, I mean, that cancels out like 90% of the effort. Magnificent facial scruff. Peter Fun, funner pick. I wanna be slightly better than the Mario. Drag this dude in here. I mean, this one says cool. I think we kind of have to use it. And everything would have been called a let's play back here. A little bit of background there, but we'll make it fairly faded so you can still see the back part there. Gosh, am I ever really quite cute here, to be honest. Uh, oh, it's not a PNG, that's rough. There's no way that back in these days there was an actual chroma key, right? There's no way there's a chroma key here in 2004. We're gonna key out the white. So we're gonna keyframe some different stuff. I wanna start uh, on this side of the screen and I wanna kinda bounce. Move me over here. I'm just moving through slowly, right? Just insert some random keyframes as I'm moving across and then go in between them. Do one of these so it goes like up and down. Make them nice and smooth. This is some advanced stuff for the time, I gotta say. It goes from this. Right into the video. We kind of want a little bit of a transitional thing, because that's me, you know? And what I'm thinking is, since I'm here and I'm here, we can like bleed the two into each other, and it's kind of a transition that like shows this guy is me. <laughs> to right here. Yeah, just like that. Check this out. Ready, 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 ready. So we're playing Mario's Fundamentals. He already, yeah. he already swept me almost. And my first thing I talk about is how he almost swept me almost completely. We kind of want to zoom in on that specific thing that I'm talking about because it provides context. And if we do a little zoom, you don't have to worry. You don't have to wonder like where your eyes are supposed to be looking. See here we caught Mario in a lie. Right there I'm kind of talking about how we caught Mario in a lie. You might have got that from the part where I said we caught Mario in a lie. And that's kind of just a funny me saying a funny thing moment. So I want to zoom in on me saying the funny thing. And now we're kind of in a little workflow. We're 15 seconds done. That's like a sixth of the entire video. We can just kind of keep moving here. I like to zoom in on Mario's face here just because he's funny. Uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. My creative vision right here is Mario funny. Look at funny Mario face. That's what I'm thinking. A fishing really for Goofy. And I'm saying way too much here. I'm being loud. It's not always about my agenda. Sometimes it's about Mario's agenda. Sometimes I gotta be humbled and just shut up and let Mario talk. For Goofy. Now the emphasis of this clip is gonna be talking about the, the line. Mario, go fish! When he says that. So what we're gonna wanna do is zoom up on the person who's saying that. But nobody's saying that. Nobody's saying, Go fish! That was good timing. So instead we're gonna zoom up on the little text. We're gonna humanize that text and kind of pretend like it's a character. So we zoom down like this, just like that, right? Get rid of me so you can see. Mario, go fish! And then it's almost like if there was a person, I could zoom up on that person to emphasize Sakurai when he was five. Now I'm talking about Sakurai here. This is normally a point where I go and find a picture of Sakurai, maybe a funny one. Maybe even like a little funny goofy one. Uh, I don't have one, so we're just gonna draw 
We're just gonna break out this program. That's what's great with, with paint, is you can just draw a picture of Masahiro Sakurai, his hair, scribble, scribble, scribble. So, save this as Saku. Yep, that's his full name. Not many people are, are aware of that. Decrease it just a little bit, just kind of like that. You kind of get the process, you kind of get the workflow. There's a little bit of a, a flow state that you get to once you're in that. The more I contour my fingers, the smarter and artisticer I appear. And then we want a little commemorative thing at the end because we edited this in Windows XP. If we hit print screen, there's a screenshot that we just took. We're gonna wanna save this, put this bad boy in here. Hey guys. This was edited in Windows XP. PS stands for Peter, some cool guy. Now the big question is, can we even render this? Because if we can't, this was just a waste of time. Like forget about memories, having fun, and just enjoying yourself and making something for creative purposes. If I can't show the internet and get a like, I'm done. I don't care. Wow. It's, it's actually doing it. Gonna get done after our sun burns to a crisp. And now we'll like, kick back and go play out in the yard with our skateboard. Just kidding, browse my phone because too much effort. You could get an early peek at goofy XP videos at Chicken Cat. All right, world premiere. I love the movement there. That is genius. So playing Mario's fundamentals. He already bleed in there. Completely. See, here we caught Mario in a lie. I remember when I said that. Reach your hand in this pile, go ahead. I hope you get bit by a big swordfish. I, you know, in hindsight, I really could have e like edited or animated like a fish biting his hand as he reached over there. Mario, go fish! I'm a you know, I remember my thought process for that edit. I think I think it worked pretty well. I think, you know, I was... All right, guys, that was Mario's Fundamental. Hey, go how about fish. another game with me? That was Mario's Fundamental Go Fish. That caught me a little bit, the jump scare. Awesome! I can show my mom. Put it on the old, the old USB drive. Well, if you'll excuse me. It's getting a lot easier to do that now. I think the mesh around his his brain is getting quite a bit softer. I want some dino nuggies. 